Monster Hunter Stories is a spin-off of the popular action series with a shiny, new, undeniably cute coat of paint and a completely different combat system. But don't let that deter you because this heartwarming story is served with amazingly fun RPG gameplay that never gets old. With a rock, paper, scissors basic attack system, skills to choose from, combos to activate, a variety of quick time events, and a special kinship gauge to fill, there's a lot going on in each turn-based battle. Fights against up to three enemies or one really big boss remain engaging, and that's not even considering the thought that goes into choosing your companion monster, or monstie, based on its elemental strengths and weaknesses. There are lots of tiny rewards, like activating a double attack or landing a perfectly timed special kinship ability as a final blow. Animations can drag a bit, but to keep things at a fast pace, literally, you can up the animation speed by three times its usual rate. Monster Hunter Stories is a beautiful 3DS game, but I did spot somewhat jarring texture loading issues when exploring outside of battle and in towns. Monster Hunter Stories is much, much more than its battling system, though. There are materials to gather, weapons and armor to forge, and most importantly, more than 100 monster eggs to steal, hatch, and raise in your own customized way. It's a daunting but delightful task. Every time I searched for a high quality egg or hatched a monstie, I got the rush usually reserved for opening a pack of Pokemon cards. But even if I hatched a duplicate monstie or one I would never use, the effort was never wasted because of the right of channeling. This great customization system lets you pass one monstie's genes to another so you can get fascinatingly creative with them. Want a Rathalos with Kezu's Thunder Breath? You can do it. You can do anything as long as you find the ingredients to accomplish it, and you never know what sort of useful gene you can uncover in the monsties you hatch. With so many things to see, do, and discover, I found myself accidentally grinding. Not because I needed to progress, but because it was fun. This innate urge to explore not only rewarded me with necessary XP, but also with new monsties and crafting materials. It doesn't sound like anything extraordinary, but all of these rewards mean that any outing into the field will result in at least something to show for it well beyond just a level or two. Monster Hunter Stories does suffer from a just barely challenging enough story mode, which goes on for around 50 hours. It's a small problem that's made more prominent by the lack of any scary consequences of dying, except when carrying an egg, which causes you to lose it. There is, however, real challenge in the collection of monsties and in the increasingly difficult endgame trials, the Tower of Illusion and Labyrinth of Ordeals. There's also a tournament to compete in which mirrors how PvP works. Yeah, there's PvP! I'm so curious to see what kind of monsties other players create. Though the solid gameplay is definitely a main selling point, Monster Hunter Story's namesake, its story, isn't something to overlook either. The story may be a bit fluffy and the dialogue occasionally gimmicky, but it also managed to elicit genuine surprise and emotion. Seriously, I teared up at the end, but then again I'm a sucker for heartfelt kids media, just like Pokemon. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed my 53 hours with Monster Hunter Stories so far. It effectively eliminated the oh-so-common RPG grind, implemented a novel turn-based battle system, and sincerely surprised me with the seemingly limitless customizability. Though wrapped in a pleasant sugary coating, Monster Hunter Stories did all of this while retaining the spirit of the Monster Hunter world with some small yet enjoyable nods to fans. I really can't wait to dive back into the endgame and hatch myself a Kirin. For more Monster Hunter, check out all of the Amiibo Unlockables, 14 minutes of Monster Hunter World gameplay, and the Monster Hunter Generations review. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Mm, so tasty!